Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hey everyone, this is Naga Souls Revenge here. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. As the title states, I'm going to just be giving out some news and just an update for all my fans and supporters or just people who want to know more about this situation. Um, Recently, the PlayStation 3 just got their um update for some odd reason. Um, you know, of course, Sony loves to update, you know, dead systems, even though the PlayStation 3 hasn't been getting, you know, any major AAA titles for God knows when, like four or five years. Um, They don't even have PlayStation Plus on either that or the vita and it's just been overall a crazy crazy week in terms of just the whole scene itself like for example the playstation of uh, vita just got hacked via with hon court 2 um if you guys interested in that i have a official video or a guide on how to install that onto your playstation vitas if you never had a modded vita but um the ps3 has been getting updates um so there's a lot of stuff going around and everyone's been quite busy in terms of you know the developers even the people who are trying to keep up with the news since it's a lot of stuff going on right now but um for today i'm hopefully going to answer most of you guys questions if you have any questions or comments please be sure to let me know down below but um for today i'm just going to be explaining on why um you want to possibly stay on the last firmware update in terms if you're on hen for example versus if you were on a custom firmware um and speaking of custom firmware i will have a video out a little later on today hopefully on how to spoof slash sign in to your playstation network accounts or just psn in general on the latest firmware 4.85 and i'm only doing this video for custom firmware only i still got to do a little bit more research for hen users i know there's a method out there but i just want to verify first that um you could spoof to that latest firmware as well there has been a report um in terms of custom firmware or excuse me not custom firmware but there has been reports that um hen has this new hfw out for 4.85 but i do advise you guys not to update um to that latest uh hfw just yet because all of the payloads and all of the tools for 4.84 hasn't been ported to 4.85 so there could be a lot of compatibility issues that's what the same thing is going on in the vita scene as well so a lot of older programs or plugins needs to basically get ported from 3.70 all the way up to 3.71 and 72 for it to uh, work for this method so there is a lot of work going on behind the scenes in terms of plugins for both sides as uh, for the PlayStation 3 and also for the Vita one thing I do want to state as of right now since we're on the topic of you know in terms of updates and custom firmware and, and firmwares and all that stuff if you have a hen PlayStation 3 or basically a PS3 that's under 4.85 and it's still under 4.84 I recommend that you guys could go ahead and check out my official playlist as showcased here on the screen. I will have a, a link to that in the card as well and also in the description so you guys could check it out. But um, with that being stated, I'm going to go ahead and showcase some websites, explain a little bit more about um, the situation as well. And I could get a little more in depth about, you know, the whole thing in terms of 4.85 update in general. So that's what I'm going to showcase right now. Alright guys, so as showcased here, I'm basically back on the PC and I'm going to be using this website just to explain a little bit more about the news and just create a discussion in terms of hybrid firmware and also for 4.85 being out in terms of official firmware and what you basically need to do and as it states from the title is to advise to stay on 4.84 if you are Han and Hen user. So as showcased here, um, I'm not going to really read over a lot of stuff, but you could just, I will leave this in the link in the description below if you want to have more of a a, you know in-depth read of it for yourself but I'm just going to be skimming over some things and just noting out some key points that I thought was pretty interesting and then I'm just going to be talking about um, you know some of the CFW side of things if you're on a rebug so but as of right now I'm just talking for Han and Hen so as showcased here um this uh, little picture was tweeted out by Juni one of the developers um you guys probably already know him from the rebug team and stuff like that but he also works on with Han and Hen as showcased here 
um, this is 4.85 official firmware and it's scanning the new 4.85.1 HFW hack that just released earlier today this morning so some of you guys maybe you'd be like oh I want to be on the latest firmware just to play on you know PSN and stuff like that and it's just really good to stay as of right now just to stay on 4.84 since a lot of the tools and as I stated a lot of the tools and payloads that you used on a day to day basis for 4.84 it hasn't been ported to 4.84 85 yet so that's why i stated just go ahead um wait for like a week two weeks three weeks as long as it takes for the developers mind you they don't get paid for this um this is you know totally out of you know freedom and this is something they do for free just because they love you know doing stuff like this so it is very important to go currently just wait on 4.84 if you're on a han or hen system me personally if 4.85 and everything has been ported in terms of from you know any of the payloads i would do a update video on my hen to han series and that's what i'm personally doing as well i'm waiting for all the developers to get everything ported over but um once that has fully been finished i'll do a update video and update my playstation uh 3 that's on han and hen to the latest uh firmware for hfw and then i'll basically um you know showcase that in a later topic but as showcased here if you do want to download it for whatever reason they have the link right here but i do um recommend that you guys just you know follow this thread it's probably going to keep getting updated as well to uh 4.85 there are also a lot of cool things in terms of like the info and changes to 4.85 itself if you're a developer and you want to look into that so um that's why i am just going to go ahead and leave this uh web page right here i'll have that in a link in the description below any useful links in terms of hybrid firmware um anything in terms of rebug anything that is pertaining to 4.85 in the news related stuff i'll just have that um waiting for y'all guys in the link in the description below and if you have any questions about anything i am stating you could just feel free to ask in the comment section down below but i think i summed up pretty good on the 4.85 hybrid firmware hen and han stuff so i'm just going to be talking about the custom firmware side of things so if you're on a custom firmware ps3 as i am as well and you're on 4.84 i am later on as i stated in the intro going to be showcasing on how to spoof or basically to 4.85 and play on playstation network on line and stuff like that but if you guys are waiting for an official kex pup update or basically trying to get to 4.85 kex there hasn't been nothing released as of august 29 2019 of course i would do a update video as well to that so my playstation uh 3 is on 4.84 kex as of right now but um what I'm going to do is go ahead and showcase that in a later video if there's anything like that. In terms of Rebug and other um, developers um, making custom firmware, not Han and Hen stuff, but custom firmware, what I'm going to do is just leave some links for those respective like Ferox and stuff like that. If they have 4.85 out now, I will. But it does take some time for those developers who are working CFW um, stuff as well to get um, things done on that end of the thing. For guys who are on DEX 4.84, and want another dex firmware you guys are going to have to wait only due to the fact that um 4.85 dex is on or basically to get a 4.85 dex update you got to wait for the 4.85 pup or from the official sony of deck of the official sony dex pup which kind of seems odd he was like hey why are we on custom firmware kex and dex what's really different dex or basically dex for um Rebug is just a PlayStation 3 official Dex pup that was rebuilt for Rebug firmware, if that makes any sense. So if you guys are on waiting on 4.84 Dex and you want a 4.85 Dex um, pup so you could be on the latest firmware, you'll pay, possibly have to wait months on end for that since the developers have to get a supplier for that. But I think I covered most of my uh, basis in terms of the news for CFW and also Han. Um, probably if I didn't explain or answer any of your questions, you could go ahead, like I stated before, to feel free to ask in the comment section below. But with all that fun stuff getting out the way, I will provide links to any of the tutorials I've used in the past in terms of this. And also I'll provide any links that I think is useful for this topic. But with that being stated out the way, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.